so I refresh this and uh, seems that that request is not being sent because we see a request being sent to media template let's go to the console it says unexpected identifier on line 25 so let's see what that is apparently a comma is missing here I refresh that and now let's see it in the network tab here for Chrome um, we're sending a request to that page as you can see media template and um, if you have a look at media template here you should see exactly um, everything that we have inside of um, this media template file here okay so I'll just quit that quickly and um, let's see the response that's coming back it's just this response here and we do not need this um, semicolon here so and also this string we just refresh that again and now it's giving us back properly so let me say testing again and this time new media template here variable um, here should be set properly and because it was um, an empty string before that's why we were not getting um, the right um, functionality okay so let's say testing again and I'll just close this and I'll submit and as you can see um, it's coming back but it's saying undefined so let's see what the problem is okay and the issue is that under anytime that we return data from this process here we're not returning the um, title and the body we're just returning the ID so we cannot do data dot title and data dot uh, body okay so instead what we can do is since we're already submitting the title and the body we can just replace those here like this title and then body okay that should work fine I'll refresh once more and the reason why this refresh is working is because we're looping through this um, comments in PHP here but um, in jQuery we're gonna have to properly set those strong signs here so let's say hi again hi again okay so I'll submit those and this time it should replace the title and the body properly okay so one last thing that we need to do is if we notice that um, when we click on this reply link here nothing happens the form is not nested underneath this and that's because we forgot to set the event handler on the reply link okay well, how we can do that is there's nothing no not much refactoring needed on that all we need to do right after um this event handler here which closes here we can just say document um, dot on click and let's filter it down to reply link that should be in quotes and we just pass in an anonymous function okay and um, in there let's um, do a prevent default so that it doesn't um, run the default action so let's say prevent default and right below that all we need to do is um, get the media which is closest so media equals to this dot closest and um, the closest media that is what we want to select and we just want to say media dot find media body which is directly inside of media and the direct uh, media text there that's a class so we're gonna have to need a dot there and then after that we're gonna have um, the comment form okay php comment dot comment form okay and this php comment is accessible because we are still inside this main function here so this is what we're using okay so i go to the browser and i refresh and now when we click on these links here we should get the comment form being appended right underneath them okay